Hey, my name is Kelly Ward, and there's no crying in baseball. Okay, so my all-time favorite movie is A League of Their Own. Go and if you haven't seen the movie, that's such a bummer. Real quick, it's a baseball comedy about women playing baseball in the 1940s and 50s. It's a great flick, and it's so great that I actually have movie merch for it. And I'm not even a big movie person, so this says a lot. The movie's so great that I even have a drawing of a fictional character on my cool wall. See? I mean, Aliga Thoreau must be like the top movie that my family quotes the most. I just want you to finish the quote. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? I'll leave zip it doors. Anything we're doing. We weren't doing right. I can't do that. Who can? Okay, you get it. I like the movie, my family likes the movie. Great, we're moving on. So there were four teams in the movie. You're gonna have four teams, 16 girls to a team. 64 girls. And I recently found out that there were actually 15 teams in the entire league. And uh, one of those teams was in Chicago. How did I not know that? I'm from the Chicago suburbs. I've lived in Chicago. I've worked in Chicago. Chicago is my favorite city. And I didn't know this? <sighs> I gotta do some research. Chicago. I'm back. There's some good and some bad. Welcome to Kelly's Book Club. First and foremost, if you're interested in this subject, you need to get this book. Not only is this like filled with so much history, knowledge, quotes, but the illustrations and the book design. I mean, come on, I'm loving it. But yeah, get this book. Okay, so right off the bat, here's some little quick hits. The league ran from 1943 to 1954. Over the 11 years, there was 15 teams in total in the league. They didn't all play at the same time. They were uh, popping in and out. And Chicago was the biggest city to have a team. Uh, speaking of Chicago, let's get into that. Okay, so the team name was the Chicago Colleens. I mean, not super intimidating. Their colors were green and white and their logo was the letter C. They play at Shoebridge Field. That's located at 74th and Aberdeen. That's in the Inglewood neighborhood. And uh, the field was eventually turned into an elementary school. Here's a couple fun facts about some of the Fighting Colleen players. We got Isabel Alvarez. Her nickname was Lefty and you guessed it, she was left-handed. She was also from Cuba and she was one of the top pitchers for the Chicago Colleens. Oh, and she also played in the league for six seasons. And last we have Eleanor Callow. Um, her nickname was Squirt. She was an outfielder. And even though it was a dumb nickname, Squirt was dropping bombs, baby. She hit over 20 home runs in one season. She was hitting 368. And she also hit over 400 RBIs for her career, which put her in the top three of the entire league. Damn Squirt. Man, they sound so great. Like. Why didn't I hear about them? They have their own stadium. They have like great players and like, I'm from this area. Why didn't I hear about this team? Oh, turns out the Chicago Colleens sucked. I've seen teams suck before, but they were the suckiest bunch of sucks that ever sucked. They were only around for three seasons. After their first season, they did so bad that the league turned them into a rookie team, which means they just got on a bus and traveled around the United States and Canada playing exhibition games against the same team every single day. And that team was the Springfield Sallies who also sucked. And their whole purpose for these exhibition games was just to bring like awareness to the league. And um, both teams got shut down after two seasons of that. I mean, I don't really feel that bad that I didn't know about the Chicago team. And like, even though the Chicago Colleens sucked, do you think they have merch? I mean, I would still love to rep them. Um, no, of course they don't. I gotta make my own. I got my supplies. All right, let's go. Ah, there it is. What do you think? Vintagey. I think this is gonna go great with my uh, my wall decor. Look, I made little fake grommets. Cut them out too. Okay, let's go hang this up.
Okay, it's up and uh, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I did that. I wish I had a hat though. Do I know anyone who sews or embroiders, stitches? Cause if I do, uh, I might have a hat project for you. So let me know. Has anyone seen my new red hat? Piss on your hat. That seems like a call for that. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Okay, bye!